Hi guys, it's me, Miss Bethany, back with another story time. So I have two stories today. My first one is, ready or not, here comes Scout. And our second one is, don't wake the bear. So let's start off with, ready or not, here comes Scout. Hello, my name is Scout. And this is Baby, my best friend in the world. We are both puppies, only I'm real and Baby isn't. We do everything together. Baby sure loves a good mud bath. Oh, oh, guess what? Today we're going to the park because I'm big enough now for real friends. My human thinks we should leave Baby home because she might get lost. No way, not a chance. Where I go, baby goes too. I've never seen so many dogs. I'm gonna be friends with all of them, every single one. Oh, oh, a puppy pool, and it looks like there's room for one more. Ready or not, here I come. Uh-oh, it turns out not all dogs like splashing. I never knew that. Ooh, ooh, see those two dogs playing tug of war? I know a game that's way more fun. Ready or not, here I come. I grabbed the rope anyway. Chase me, chase me. What? I have to give back the rope? How come? I was just trying to be friends. Oh, isn't that little bitty dog the cutest thing ever? I give her a great big kiss mwah, to show how much I like her, but she doesn't kiss me back. When it's time to go home, I still have only one friend, baby. My human takes baby and me back to the park the next day and the next. I watch how friends play with each other. One day, a new dog comes to the park. His name is Taco. All he does is play fetch with his human. Taco sure looks like he needs a friend. Ready or not, here I come. Hold on a second. Something's wrong. The hairs on Taco's back stand up. Taco growls and shows his teeth. I run away. Poor baby is terrified. She insists on going home right now. <clears throat> After that, baby and I won't go to the park. We never want to see Taco again. Dogs that look like Taco scare us, even dogs on TV. It's been so long since I've seen my friends. I bet they miss me terribly. I feel awfully bad for them. Maybe I should go back. Oh, what a welcome I get. Baby and I are careful to stay far away from Taco. I play all afternoon with my friends. I am practically out of my mind with happiness. My human says it's almost time to go home. But where is Baby? 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 Oh no, baby is missing. I search everywhere for her. I am nearly out of my mind with worry. You'll never guess who finds baby. Taco. Baby was taking a mud bath. Taco drops baby near me. That means I can pick her up. As soon as I do, Taco runs away. All my friends are calling to me. There's a game of tag. I wish Taco would play too. Maybe one day he will want to. Me, I'm ready to play now. Ready or not, here I come. The end. 
So that was the end of our first story. Our second story is, shh, don't wake the bear. <clears throat> It was spring party day, the best day of the year. So why were the animals trembling with fear? They'd heard growling noises and crept up to see a huge bear asleep in the old hollow tree. Oh no, they all cried, but our party's today. How can you get ready with him in the way? I'll wake him up, cried a little brown hare. No, no, they all whispered. Please, don't wake the bear. <clears throat> Bears, Badger said, are enormous and hairy. If you wake them up, they'll get angry and scary. We still have our party, though, if we take care. Be quiet as mice so we don't wake the bear. So they tiptoed off without making a peep to get party things while the bear was asleep. And the ants carried wimbling, wobbling stacks of dishes and saucers and cups on their backs. <clears throat> the lanterns were carefully hung in the trees. The mice tied up ribbons that danced on the breeze. They brought in the very last blueberry tart and their party was now almost ready to start. Then Hare cried, there's only one thing left to do. And he grabbed a balloon and he blew and he blew. And he blew and he blew till the others cried, stop. If it gets any bigger, it's going to... The bear stretched and groaned, and they all held their breath. Then his eyes flickered open and scared them to death. Run! Run and hide! They all cried in despair. Now we're in trouble. We've woken the bear. Who dares wake me up? growled the bear angrily. Hare said in a small, shaky voice, It, it was me! Our party is going to start very soon. I was trying to help, but I popped my balloon. A party, cried Bear with a grin. Could it be a big surprise party, especially for me? Oh, thank you for waking me up, little bunny. I'll come to your party and bring you some honey. And even though Bear was enormous and hairy, they found he was great fun and not a bit scary. He danced and he partied with everyone there, and they all cheered, Hooray for our new friend, the Bear! The end. So that was the end of our second story today. I hope you guys join me tomorrow for another two stories. Um, so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Give lots of hugs and kisses to mommies and daddies. Say I love you. And as always, you guys are kind, you are important, and you're very, very loved. Bye.